Hi everybody and thank you for joining Stamp with Lisa Brown. I'm Lisa Brown and this is my Savvy Sunday. Today we are going to be dealing with the Parisian dies and I am going to show you some altered uh, heat embossing ideas. So normally we just uh, stamp an image with our Versamark which is our clear sticky ink we dump uh, some embossing powder on it and um, heat emboss it. Normally it's a, a usually like a line art image. So today I'm going to show you three different ways that we're going to alter um, our heat embossing techniques. So we're going to concentrate on the uh, Eiffel Tower dies. Again, these are the Parisian dies available in the 2020 mini catalog. So let me get these out of the way. And for our first altered uh, die, I have already pre-cut the Parisian um, die that looks like the Eiffel Tower, the detailed Eiffel Tower. I have already layered on two coats of the gold embossing powder. Now I'm gonna bring in my heat gun and I'm gonna reheat that embossing powder a little bit just to make it just I want to make it just a little bit warm so bear with me with my heat tool and I'm just doing it from a distance The reason I did that is because my project's been sitting for a little while and it was pretty cooled down. So I just wanted to add a little more, um, I just wanted to add a little warmth and a little uh, pliableness to it. So now I'm going to take my uh, Versamark pad and I'm going to go over the entire Eiffel Tower. Again, I already have two layers of gold embossing powder on this. Now I'm going to transfer my Eiffel Tower to my coffee filter and I'm going to bring in some white embossing powder and I'm just going to sporadically sprinkle some powder. I have a little spoon and I'm just going to um, put just a little bit of embossing powder randomly over my Eiffel Tower. Okay, I'm good with that. Now I'm gonna dump off the excess. Get my powder out of the way. And I'm gonna take my heat tool and I'm gonna heat this up. Now I, I held it on there a little bit longer because I wanted it to really um, sink in with the gold embossing powder. But this is just a, a fun way to give you a little bit of an alternative look um, instead of having it all one shade. Um, I know that uh, Paris uh, does get a little bit of snow, so I'm thinking, gosh, this might um, make like a great winter scene um, with the Eiffel Tower in, in a little bit of snow. So I'm going to set this one aside. That's our project number one. So I just wanted to show you that you can um, layer over your embossing powders. And you can use different color embossing powders to um, 
uh, different effects. So here I have the Eiffel Tower. It is the solid image. I already have two layers of the embossing powder on here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my Versamark over it. I'm going to put a third layer. Make sure that this is well covered. Okay. I'm going to bring in my coffee filter again. Again, we're putting on a third layer of the gold embossing powder. Make sure I get a good coverage. And I'm going to grab that and then I'm going to dump off the excess. Give it a little bit of a flick. And I can do, I use a coffee filter because I can just go ahead and immediately put the powder back in the container. There's no static electricity. All right. So we're going to heat this. Uh, let me, I need another scrap piece of paper. So I'm going to put a scrap piece of paper on here. Okay. Okay, so I kind of preset that on, on there. So um, on the side over here, I have the word stamp uh, from the Parisian set. It coordinates with the dies. And um, it's with the uh, Parisian uh, beauty stamp set. So I have these detailed words right here. And it actually has a little, um, it says, I love you till my heart could burst, all I love and all I want. And so it has a whole big phrase on here. So I have this ready to go on the side. I forgot to point that out before. Now I'm going to fully melt my um, Eiffel Tower. I'm going to fully melt my powder in there. And the reason I need to have my stamp ready to go is because we're going to stamp on the embossing powder as soon as I'm done heat embossing. Okay, and I'm immediately going to press into that powder and lift. And I don't know if you can see that, but you get the impression of the stamp right there. There you go. See that? You get the, the words from the stamp. So I'm going to heat up down here because now this is already cool. So if I press on there, nothing, nothing's going to happen. So I'm going to keep heating. I'm going to be try to be careful not to hit what I've already impressed in there. There we go. See, it wasn't quite warm enough over here, so I didn't get the words, but I like that. I'm going to leave it. Okay. And I'm just going to continue up the tower. This was a little too melted. I went a little bit too long. 
There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can get this over in here. Okay. So I'm going to get that off my paper. So now I have an embossed, a double embossed Eiffel Tower. Isn't that pretty? It just gives it a little bit of extra texture. Okay, so that's um, step number two. I do wanted, I do want to show you that um, I did get a little bit of embossing powder on my rubber stamp. And if you get that, I'm going to take my coffee filter and I'm going to take my heat gun. I'm just going to shoot it real quick with my heat gun and wipe it off with my coffee filter. And the embossing powder will come off. But be careful not to, um, to melt your uh, stamp. So you want to apply just a few seconds of a heat. And then just keep repeating that. Okay, I got the majority of it off. I'll go back later and, and get the rest. Uh, oh, there we go. It just came right off. So um, don't don't worry if you get your embossing powder stuck into your stamp. You you can get that off, and then you can see on my on my um, uh, coffee filter where where the embossing powder picked up off the stamp. So that that may happen to you. Don't panic. You can fix it. All right. So our third style um, is using the stamp apparatus. We'll bring that in in a minute. So I, I wanted to show you when you're um, heat embossing a large solid image, uh, sometimes you um, don't get a smooth surface with your embossing powder. I only have one layer of embossing powder on here. And in order to fix that, to, I, we want a nice smooth surface we're going to add a second layer of embossing powder. So with my Versamark, I'm going to go over this. Make sure I got good coverage. Okay. Grab my coffee filter. Transfer that. And we're going to dump our embossing powder over. And I am being real generous with my embossing powder. Okay. And carefully grab it. And we're going to dump off the excess. I'm just going to give it a couple little flicks. And we're going to dump this back in my container right away. Okay. Coffee filter um, does not have, it um, pre prevents static, so um, the embossing powder comes off of it uh, really, really nicely. Okay, so now we're going to heat emboss this, and we're going to end up with a nice, smooth, shiny surface. See how nice that is? It's nice and smooth, where the first time when I showed you, it was all bumpy. Okay, so we're going to let this cool for a minute. And what I want to show you is my Stamparatus, or uh, stamp positioning tool. Um, when I was die cutting out my um, Eiffel Towers and such, um, I saved my, um, I saved my paper, okay, and here is the die cut of my Eiffel Tower, 
Okay, so this fits right in here. I took my rubber stamp, my, the Eiffel Tower um, rubber stamp, and I laid it in here first. Okay, so I laid it in there and then closed the door and picked, picked that up. So now my Eiffel Tower is cool. I'm going to lay this back in here. Okay, right in the cutout. I'm going to go in with some um, stays on ink pad. Uh, stays on ink, it's the permanent ink pad. And give this an ink. And we're going to close this. And now it's going to stamp right over my Eiffel Tower because it's lined up. I have it in that cutout. Okay. Oh, I didn't get any ink on there. My lid didn't come off. <laughs> ah, that's funny. All right, let's try this again. I'm inking up with my stays on. All right, now we can swing that closed and give it a good press. All right, image is there. It's extremely light, so we just need to go over it again. do it one more time okay give that a good press all right there we go okay I'm liking that okay so now all we have to do is pop out our Eiffel Tower. I'm going to give this a quick dry with the heat gun. Just going to dry it real quick from a distance. Okay. Um, also, I wanted to share with you, um, I did use, this is... Um, backing from our 12 by 12 paper when you get your 12 by 12 paper it comes with the cardboard or a thin piece of white cardboard and so that's what i do i save those pieces and i cut them up and i use them for um dye templates um uh, scrap paper if i want to try something um and i don't want to waste like a whole big sheet of paper so i use um I use the backing that comes with my 12 by 12 uh, designer series paper. So, so that's that's what this is here. And I wanted to have my base of my Eiffel Tower on something a little bit thicker than um, than Whisper White. So, let me go ahead and get this out of the way. I've quickly drawn up um, a quick card, and I'm just gonna layer over my ideas for you. So this is my card base. It is um, a piece of soft suede. I have a beautiful, beautiful uh, piece of paper here from the Parisian Blossoms Designer Series paper. It's um, so pretty. It has embossing um, in itself. And then these are the two flourish dies that are available in the Parisian dies. And I think we're going to take our die that we um pushed our stamp into and we can just layer that right in the middle i took two stitched framelits one is done in the soft suede one is done in petal pink and i'm going to adhere those together uh, with my snail okay and then I die cut, there's two words in the um, Parisian dies. There's the word amore and the uh, word merci. I uh, pre-cut the word 
Amore, and I'm going to use my uh, Tombow liquid adhesive, and I'm just going to adhere that. Just put a little, little touches of glue on the back. Okay. And we're going to layer that right in there. Like that. Okay. Oh, I see I'm almost out of my dimensionals here. I got a little piece here. Uh, so that's going to go on there. And let's see, I have some mini dimensionals. So I'll just take a couple of mini dimensionals, put those there. Okay. And I'm going to take my pick tool. Well, I'm not going to take my backings off because I would just want to show you the different designs. So this is the one we did where we um, heated three layers and impressed a stamp into it. And then this is just going to go over top like that. I'm going to have those dimensionals on there. So there's that one. Or we can use the Eiffel Tower that we uh, did two layers of embossing powder. And then we uh, used our... our um, Stamparatus to get the Eiffel Tower stamped on there. And then that would look like this. I like that one. And then we have the Eiffel Tower where we uh, put a couple of layers of the gold embossing powder. And then we just did a little bit of white. And I, and I actually like that. It kind of brightens it up some. So there is that. And you can layer that over top like that. That one's real pretty also. Okay, so I wanted to show you three alternative ways to use your embossing powder. I want to thank you for joining me. Um, if you like any of these products, please check out Stamp with Lisa Brown .net. And thank you for checking out my Savvy Sunday video. Have a good day.